Rincewind! Rincewind! Wake up! The Arch-Chancellor wants to see you! A sinister shape, a shape fraught with... with... shapeness. It must be a plot element, otherwise there'd be a better label. Snoring chest, that's novel. Well, I'll soon fix that. Ah, if it isn't young Brakewind. Rincewind, sir. Rincewind, quiet. Come in. We need to talk. That is, I need to talk, and you listen. No doubt you've been hearing all sorts of rumors about this dragon that supposedly is terrorizing the town. Uh, uh, dragon? As in the uh, classic... Fire breathing, city toasting. Shut up! Yes, pretty much. Scaly, vain, like shiny object, that space of kidney. And what we need to do is to ensure that the unseen university is properly represented in the attempt to dispose of it. If some yokel simply slays the wretched thing without our help, the people will begin to ask just what wizards are for. Actually, sir, what are wizards for? Wizards are firmly behind big dinners. And if you want to keep on eating yours, you'll go and see about this dragon. Surely, sir, dragons don't logically exist. Shut up! Dragons exist if you believe in them. And the average man in the street does believe them. Or at least believes in them enough to give us big rewards if they think we've gotten rid of the thing. Do you follow me? Not really. Shut up! Not interested in excuses. Too much sloppy thinking around here. Run down to the library and fetch me a copy of Featherwinkle's concise compendium of Dragon's Lairs. Once we've read that, we'll know how to track the scaly blighter down. You 
you still here? Standing around like something unhygienic? Do it now! Ah. Now, with a desk like that, a man can really defer some serious questions. Please. Hey, A girl? What's a girl doing in here? I'm not a girl. Why are, you, why are you wearing a dress? It's a wizard's robe, not a dress. I knew a girl's dress once. Splendid lass. Very good at pickling. Yes, very good at pickling eels, she was. Pickling? Oh, how fascinating. Pickled? Who's pickled? No one's pickled. You started it. I don't even like pickles. What? Oh, they were wonderful pickles. How dare you cast me, 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 me aspersions on, on, on... Damn, I've, I've lost it. What were we talking about again? Um, pickles? What's pickled? What? Hmm? Well, what do you mean? Well, the eels were pickled, weren't they? What? Pickled elves? Damn their ears. I told them to lock that liquor cupboard. Go on, boy, get after them. No, no, pickles, not pickled. Pickles? Oh, try the kitchen. Get out. Stop wasting my time. Look, I just want to find somebody who can talk a little sense. Sense? Perfumes? Oh, I'll not have it. No, sir, I won't. Dallying with women folk on the premises is against the rules. Otherwise, we'd, we'd, we'd all be doing it. You young bathrobe, I have you defrocked for this. Look, I haven't done a thing, honestly. What? Well, well, well uh, how can you be a man of the world if you've never sampled the finer things in life? Hm? Women, wizard staves, pickles. Well, if I go and do that, you said you'd defrock me. It won't do, it just won't do you. Young tweezers like you coming in here and, and taking off their frocks? Well, I, I won't stand for it. I, 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 this city is getting into, into a fine old pickle. Oh, please don't get started on the pickles again. Pickles? Well, don't eat pickles if you're wearing a dress. You'll stay in the hem. Why are you wearing a dress? This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Good day, sirs. Is it? Huh, <laughs> so you say. What with the bottom falling out of the tapioca market? He's off again, past the dried frog pills. Laugh away, you old boy valve. It's all this dragon business. That's what's doing it. Snatching tapioca out of the mouths of the deserving elderly. Dragons? Dragons in the town? A likely story. <laughs> Swamp dragons, he means? No, a real dragon, not one of those little marsh tiddlers. Poppycock, there's no such thing. Dragons only exist if you believe in them. I don't believe in them, they don't believe in me. So we're both happy. Excuse me, where might I go to find the patrician? Well... Don't be an idiot, boy. Just look for the palace. Is he approachable? Can you actually speak to him? Oh, yes. But he's a mean man with a word.
Be careful if he uses sarcasm on you. And for heaven's sake, run for it if he resorts to ooh, irony. Does this place always have to be this way? What way? Well, this way. It's chaos. It's, it's undisciplined. It's as if I'm thrashing about in a sea of questions, like, like I'm screaming out against soul-destroying winds. Isn't that a mixed metaphor? I mean, there are times when I dream about just shaking this place by the neck until it starts talking sense. I have one like that too. What, really? Oh, yes. In one magic moment, I stride like an intellectual giant across the rooftops of the world, slicing through the Gordian what's-his-name of fuzzy thinking for all time. And then I have this other terrific dream that I'm being smothered in fruit yoghurt and sucked up inside a whale. Thankfully, that's not my problem. So far, anyway, we can but hope. Right, you are, then. Oh, well, this one's not a statue. I think this one used to be a frog out in the garden. Ah, oh, well, he never should have asked to be turned into a handsome plinth. Ah, ha, ha, yes, now, don't rush me. Yes, thought so. They're shelves. This thing smells of butterscotch. Good grief, what are you keeping in there? Why is it all sticky? Oh, wait. I'd rather not know. <coughs> ah. Let's not press this curiosity thing too far, then, shall we?
Hi, do you mind if I'll monkey about in the library for a while? Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Excuse me, my dear sir. Could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lairs? <coughs> I see. <coughs> yes. Me, uh, yes, I suppose so. <coughs> mm-hmm. Quite. Look, is there someone else here that I can speak to? <coughs> well, you know, someone who isn't a monkey. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? No, I'll come back and get a book later. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yes, I've given up. No, no not gibbon, monkey. Ape, oh, oh, damn! <coughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Excuse me, my dear sir, could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lairs? Actually, I'd always pictured bananas as being a healthier kind of yellow. Excuse me, but could I ask you some questions? Clear off, and no magic in the kitchen. One more spell goes off in this place, and I'm going to complain to the Arch-Chancellor. Are you always this surly? Not always. I even know a jolly joke. Really? Yes. What's ugly, hollow, and rings like a bell? I don't know. What? Look over there. <coughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Fascinating. Don't any of your pancakes get lost? What? From here? From my frying pan, you don't seem to realise the gravity of your accusation. Twenty-seven years I've been studying to be a cook's apprentice. I've got top marks for basic flipping left hand and right, and batter stirring, pan greasing and pancake stacking. Oh, how many did you get for customer relations? Two percent. Clear off. Well, I'll catch you later then. That doesn't work.
Excellent. Good lad, Brakewin. Rin twin, sir. Ah, we now have the formula to construct Rick Rimento's never failing Dragon's Lair arena. With the device in our hands, we'll be able to track the creature and trap it like a wildebeest. You mean like a rat, sir? Really? Well, could be. That'd be easier, certainly. You've got a good firm grasp of facts. I like that in a wizard. Go forth and fetch the elements we need to construct this device. I'll see that your performance is brought to the attention of the university board when we review your grant next year. <laughs> we may only have it, for example. <laughs> Sir, have I ever told you of my ambition to be a yak? It could be arranged, Rincewind. Just ask the librarian. Now get a move on. We need a staff of tumultuous turbatage. A spiral of never-failing induction. A miniature creature of exciting chitters. And a container made of the strongest ferrous metal. Oh, is that all? Well, uh, a sample of breath from the subject in question is necessary. Dragon's breath? Yes. Any problems with that? No? Good. Well, don't just stand there. Off you go! New Improved Wonder Grow grows anything. New Instant Formula. Hmm. Illumination is a fine thing. I wish I could see in. What's this then? Prunes, finest quality, extra dark old bowel buster. Yuck. How do you open the gate? They've changed the wasp names. The hand wriggles. It's a whole new spell. So show me the new spell. Can't. The spell's a secret. The hand wriggles, please. Yeah, yeah, right. Look. You just wiggle them like this. Oh, 
Like this. Yes, almost. Now try it like that. Like this. Right you are, son. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'd like a nice lie down. But what about the gate? Aren't you going to guard it? Oh, who gives them monkeys? Did you get the number of that donkey cart? Well, I'll catch you later then. Another senior wrangler in the making.